So welcome to just another dang how to channel so if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe to my youtube channel so on this series we're going to learn how to develop an ios app that will be calling an api that will be building on django using the rest framework so we're going to learn a little bit of uh, swift ui it's just going to be a basic crud app uh, you could create read uh, update and delete and then it would be calling an API. Uh, that API we're gonna build using um, inside J the Django framework. So we're gonna install Django and then we're gonna expose some API on the Django framework. Um, then optional would be changing the default SQLite uh, database on Django to Postgres SQL. And then we're gonna finally uh, use uh, Django REST framework to expose those APIs that the Swift application would be calling. And another optional thing that I might do is I might install it um, on a server, uh, particularly on Heroku. So let's get started. Um, so first off, we want to deal with the Django bits first. So to do this, um, on a directory that you like, uh, open your editor of choice. So the editor that I'll be using would be um, Visual Studio Code. Um, it's free, uh, it's very lightweight and um, pretty handy and quick to develop on it. So I just drop that folder in there. Um, then after you pick your editor, uh, you need to make sure that Python is installed. So we're not gonna use Python 2.7, that's about to be deprecated soon. So I don't recommend you running this there. And I think Django only works on Python uh, 3. So on uh, Big Sur, uh, Python comes already pre-installed. To run Python though, you need to type Python 3 and then you can type dash V to check if Python is really installed and you should get a response. Um, the first thing we want to install globally um, is uh, ENV. Uh, so pip env is a virtualized environment and also a dependency uh, manager. So to install pip env, you would need to install it globally. So first say sudo pip3 install pip env. It's going to ask for your admin password and if I go to pip3 and do a list, uh, you would see these are all the applications installed globally um, and PPNV is one of them. So to interact with PPNV or to start it, you simply say PPNV uh, shell. And after doing that, uh, it would launch a subshell in a virtualized environment, putting you inside that uh, virtualized environment. So anything you do now inside here is just contained within this virtualized environment. Anything I install will be within here and it's not gonna install it globally. And you will also notice this, there's a pip file created and it has the packages listed of what are the packages installed. So to install um, Django, you simply say pipnv install Django. Cool. and you would see uh, the pip file got updated with Django and a pip file lock got created. Um, the next thing we want to do is start a project. So Django is based on starting a project and within that project it has uh, apps within that project that could communicate with each other. So to start it, uh, simply type Django admin start project and I'm going to name this project net worth a demo app and you would see here that the folder got created and that scaffolding for that project got created so we have a manage pi uh, this is uh, mostly for a command line that we will use to interact with uh, Django and the one we're interested inside the subdirectory is the settings pi this contains all the configuration for this project uh, we're part going to be particularly touching the installed apps and the database layer here when we change this database from SQLite to PostgreSQL. 
and also we're going to touch the URLs which is in charge for uh, displaying views um, cool so the next bit is you want to CD inside this network app and call Django admin again and this time let's create an app so say start app I'm going to call this app uh, API and you would see a file got a folder got created here and all the scaffoldings for the app got created here um, you also want to make sure that uh, Django is actually running so to check on that you simply type Python manage by run server you could ignore this warning for now because we haven't applied uh, any changes to the database yet. Um, uh, you would see that it started a development server. It's hosted at this uh, URL. So you could simply copy and paste that or command click on it. So if you see this, it means Django has been successfully been installed. Cool. So let's try creating our first view. So inside the API folder, uh, there's a view spy in here and inside this view spy um, it's importing some uh, libraries so what I want to do is change this I'm gonna import HTTP from django.http import the HTTP response I'm gonna create a method simple method for now it's just gonna be a placeholder I'm just gonna call it index it's gonna accept a parameter of request and it's gonna return uh, HTTP response and just gonna hard code say API view so after you create a view uh, you would like this to be uh, called uh, by the URLs right but to make it all self-contained inside the app that you created you could create a new file called URLs pi and from here, um, you could go to the network app here and click on your else. You would see that this is importing this library. You could do the same, import. Um, and then we also wanna import the views. So from this directory, import views. And you create URL patterns. And it's gonna accept an array and you say path. So it's just going to be an empty path and um, I'm going to call the views and it's going to return us that index. So pretty much that's it here. And then you could go back to the URLs from the main project. Um, from the import after path, you also want to in, uh, import the include library. And from here, just add another URL pattern and this would be the uh, let's call it API then forward slash and this time called include and you guessed it we're going to include the URLs so you got call it using this notation API dot URLs and save and if everything's all right you would see this relaunching and if I control click that you would see page not found because there's nothing on the main page but I could go to this um, URL and say API and we get our first view. So there you go, our first view. Um, so we learned how to install Django. Uh, we learned a little bit about PPNV. Uh, we learned how to create our first view and those stuff. So in the next tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a model and install uh, Postgres. So hope you like it. If you have some comments, leave them on the comments section below. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.